Brechin boss Darren Dodds is looking for his players to do themselves proud for a third time this season against Dundee United. Dodds was delighted with his team the last time they visited Tanadice, albeit they lost a late goal to go down 1-0, while one of City's three championship points came in a 1-1 draw against United at Glebe Park on November 25th. The Angus club will make the short journey down the A90 today still looking for their first win in the championship but, as has been noted by Tangerine's gaffer Sabalazlo, they have come close on several occasions. Saturday's home loss to Inverness Cayley Thistle was the latest example of that, with City leading 2-1 before a double from substitute George Oakley took the three points back up to the Highlands. Indeed, Brechin have lost by the odd goal in no fewer than 10 of their league matches this term. Dodds said, We have had a lot of single goal defeats so that shows we have been competitive this season. We have been going close to getting that first league win and the great thing is that the players are still positive. We will just keep working hard. We have also done well in our two matches against United this season, only losing to a late goal in the first match and then getting a great point at home. We defended well at Tanadice, created chances and caused them some problems so more of the same would be nice. We will be looking to do ourselves justice again in this game. The Tangerines, of course, have been dealt a double injury blow to key midfielders Fraser Fivey and Scott Fraser. Dodds, a former Tanadice defender, does not believe that will necessarily help his team this afternoon, saying, They are a couple of big players for United and I wish both well. It's unfortunate for them, but we just need to concentrate on ourselves. Sam Stanton hopes Dundee United can put their Paisley no-show behind them as they look to get back on track against Brechin this afternoon. Sabo Laszlo's side fell five points adrift at the top of the championship standings as they went down 2-0 to title rival St. Mirren on Friday night. Paul McMullen's early penalty miss proved costly for the visitors as Lewis Morgan netted twice after the break to clinch all three points for the Buddies. While Jack Ross takes his side to Capilo to face Morton in their first match of the new year, United host a City side that are still without a win in the championship this season. There is still some way to go in the promotion race this term and United still have a match in hand over the Buddies. But Stanton knows they must up their game at Tanadice as they bid to banish the memories of a low-key end to 2017. He said, We are very disappointed obviously. It was a big game and we could have gone above them if we won. A point would have been better for us than them. We have lost the game so it is disappointing. I thought we were the far better team in the first half and we had three or four chances, not just the penalty. When you don't score, that is your own fault. Second half, we weren't good enough and didn't get going. We didn't play well enough. Of course it can change quickly. I said the other week that any team can beat any team in this league because it is that competitive. We have seen that already this season. We are definitely still in it and we have got the game in hand and need to play them again this season as well. There is plenty of time. I can't put my finger on why it was such a flat display. It wasn't through a lack of effort, it was just one of those things. It wasn't a lack of game plan, it was just very disappointing. Lewis Morgan will swap the black and white of St. Mirren for the green and white of Celtic sooner rather than later. It is in stripes rather than hoops where he will continue to shine this season, however. The Renfrewshire Derby meeting with Morton this afternoon could prove to be Morgan's final game before he puts pen to paper at Parkhead but his time away from Paisley will only be temporary this term. 
It will be a dream move for the 21-year-old, but he has other ambitions to achieve first and foremost. Morgan took his tally for the campaign to 12 with the brace that beat Dundee United on Friday evening and moved St. Mirren five points clear at the top of the championship. And keeper Craig Sampson is pleased Jack Ross' side will be able to benefit from the talents of their prodigious young talent for the remainder of the second-tier title race. He said, I don't think the club are willing to let Lewis to go to a club where he wouldn't come back here. That was what I'd heard at the beginning of the season and I don't think anything has changed now. I think within the dressing room and the club we all know what Lewis is doing. As far as I am aware he will still be a St. Mirren player until the end of the season, whether he signs for someone and comes back on loan to us. But he showed his quality against United. He wasn't brilliant in the first half, but in the second half he pops up and shows that wee bit of quality for us and that made all the difference. Any team that has Lewis in it has got a real advantage because he's a fantastic talent and he's got a real chance. The club that he's going to are getting a top, top player.